Hi, uh, my name is Young Kim and I'm from Seoul, Korea. I'm, um, I have served as a board director of Python Software Foundation and I traveled a lot of PyCons, especially in East Asia region. And my day job is I'm uh, head of engineering of a video streaming company. And yeah, so nowadays I don't use Python much, but I'm leading my engineers to use Python, and my data engineers use <laughs> Python. So yeah, that's my day job. Okay, uh, so when do you discover Python? It's uh, late 90s, I guess. Uh -huh. At that time, it's a 2.3 or 2.4, and at that time I don't take I don't took the Python as a serious uh, programming language, it was just a hobby. So I heard my, from, from my friend, he told me there's another new programming language which name is Python and you should check that. So that's the beginning and at that time I really, really loved the C programming languages. So to be honest, I'm a bit looked down on the Python, but I realized that sometimes implementation time is a uh, much more important than you know the performance like that. Okay. What do you actually do directly under the Python Software Foundation? Uh, during my term, uh, I was a representative of uh, East Asia region. Mm -hmm. So before me, we have a director from India, Kushal, but. Is uh, geologically located in India, and so India is uh, still a part of Asia, but you know it's a uh, a bit far from you know. So uh, as a as a representative of East Asia, so I bring the PSF conference kit to the all the PyCons in Asia region and introduce PSF and what we are doing. Uh, mm -hmm encourage them to you know organize their own PyCon. Okay. So in the result we have a Py PyCon Indonesia and PyCon Thailand. Mm -hmm. Maybe next year I'm wishing Vietnam people have their own PyCon. Okay. So you yeah, have traveled to many of the new PyCon around. Mm -hmm. uh, which is your favorite? My favorite? Yeah. Wow, it's a tough question. <laughs> um, <laughs> So the reason why I traveled to PyCon is that I really wanted to uh, have my own PyCon in my country, Korea. Mm -hmm. So I have no idea. I had no idea how to organize the PyCon. So mm -hmm. I traveled to PyCon Japan and PyCon Taiwan mm -hmm. to get some wisdom from the organizers. So to be honest, yeah, PyCon Japan and PyCon Taiwan, I really, really thanks to them. And another PyCon I really love is the PyCon Philippines. Mm -hmm. PyCon Philippines, they have a, after after the conference, they have a day trip, and it's a really really exciting. So I like the PyCon Philippines for that way, and PyCon Malaysia, mm -hmm. yeah, because two years ago. Ikuba asked me to give a talk at Paiku Malaysia, but I had to, you know, cancel it due to my personal matter. So it's it makes me feel uh, guilty. So so I try to uh, continue to attend Paiku Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So do you look forward to the next PyCon in Vietnam, for example? Because those are new. Those are totally new PyCons. I never. It's been a while uh, since I heard from Vietnam people, yep. but the local, uh, okay, the local community is a really big and very active. So I'm pretty sure that they will have their own PyCon mm -hmm. soon. Yeah. All right. So what do you think about the local conferences? Local conferences. That the PyCon yeah. Malaysia. Um, so I heard that uh, in Malaysia. The Python is not a major uh, program languages, so it means we are kind of minority of the IT industry. But people here are very uh, kind and they are willing to run a new thing. And this is my second time for Python Malaysia, and I see I'm seeing several 
so many familiar faces. So it means this community is a very get along with each other very well. So yeah, that's what PyCon. Yeah. So let's move a little to the, uh, the technical side. Do you still use Python or at least play around with it? Mm -hmm. And what do you look forward to in terms of technology, as in libraries, features, for the next, for the coming features of Python or whatnot? Uh, well, um, so nowadays I don't uh, code much, but I'm trying to following the changes and the ecosystems. And uh, I'm not sure this is, is answer your question, but yeah. I'm trying to convince people to contribute back to the library of their favorites. It's the best way to following the changes and even better if you can make a single contribution to a library, that means you impact the whole ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So uh, so nowadays so many libraries have very short uh, release cycles, so just uh, please take a look into the, the changes and yeah, do some contribution mm -hmm. if possible. So anything else you want to say before we close this session? It's actually, this is a personal thing, mm -hmm. but as you might aware, uh, in Korean Peninsula, there's the peace it's just around the corner. So I I could start uh, organizing PyCon Korea because of other PyCon organizers. So I'm trying to have another PyCon organizers, possible PyCon organizers, to have their own PyCon. But uh, due to a legal vision, uh, legal legal reason, I cannot go to the North Korea. But I have heard about the North Korean programmers are really, really good. So I wish someday I can meet the North Korea Python stars. So if some of you know some North Korea Python star, then please tell me them. Please tell them I will go to the North Korea to meet them. And please wait for me. I think having the ability to engage with North Korean software developers would be actually very interesting because mm -hmm. they do isolated from us. I suppose even even they are isolated, there is opportunity to develop on both sides. Even though we think we might be this, but I think we can learn from them as well, mm -hmm. as much as they learn from us. So with that, thank you, Yonggun. Thank you. It's really helpful.